Hi everyone, welcome to iQuanta. I'm Yogesh, and finally the wait is over. The application for I am Bangalore BSc UG program has finally started, and uh, you can see this red banner on the top. Apply for 2026 admissions. So you can scroll down the website first for an overview about the program. Okay, uh, many of you might already be knowing that this is a four-year completely residential program. Okay, there are two different programs. BSc UG in data science and BSc UG in economics. Okay. So uh, if I talk about uh, the admissions, the form is finally out. We'll see what all do we need to uh, fill the form. And apart from that, if you want to check uh, about the program, the syllabus, then the test pattern, then I have already uploaded a video on the channel. You can go back and check it out. Okay. You can simply go to iQuanta IPMAT YouTube channel and click on video. Scroll down a bit, you'll find that particular video. Okay. If I talk about uh, 2026 admissions, if I click on it, then the page is finally live. And uh, it is advised to use uh, Edge, Chromium, or Mozilla Firefox, or Google Chrome. Okay. Google Chrome would be the best browser. I do not fill it on your phones, etc. Okay. Uh, please try to use a proper laptop or PC. And uh, Fields marked with star are mandatory. It's like any other online form that you fill. Most of you would be filling uh, an online application form for the first time. So do not fill any field. Uh, do not commit any mistake until you're very sure about what to fill in that particular field. Okay. Otherwise, sometimes uh, you're not allowed to change them later. Okay. So applicant's name is required. Okay. Put it as per your 10th result certificate. Okay. Date of birth is needed again according to class 10th mark sheet, most probably okay. Mobile number, uh, it should be a mobile number which receives OTP is recharged okay, so that you can complete the application process. And then email ID again in which mails can be received okay. So check all of this first and click on I agree. Now read the below instructions carefully before filling the form candidates have to fill in the details mentioned below to receive the user id and password so you will be receiving a user id and password and this user id and password will be sent to your registered email address or on the registered mobile number only so that is why it's very important for you to have a recharged mobile number okay or a working email address to which you have the access. Overseas candidates will receive both user ID and password on their register email address. Fine. So this is for overseas candidates. Candidates can log in with their user ID and password to complete the application form for IMB UG admissions. Candidates must provide correct first name. Okay. There should be no spelling mistake. Match it twice. Middle name. If you have one else, uh, then you have to enter the last name, date of birth, mobile number, email address. As these details cannot be changed once the registration is complete. So suppose you put everything correct, but commit a small mistake in your say date of birth. Okay. It cannot be changed later. Okay. And there'll be problems later. There will be a correction window maybe uh, in the last few days of the application, but you have to pay extra at that particular time, or they might even not have any correction window. Okay. So try to fill the form correctly in the very first go. So, uh, the details you will be entering, they should be as per your matriculation. That means class 10 certificate or equivalent certificate awarded to you. I mean, if you have not done class 10 from any school, did some certificate, uh, any other certificate, which is equivalent to 10th. Okay. So then you can enter it accordingly. Please ensure that you should carry the government issued ID proof to the examination center, having the same name as stated below. So make sure the ID that you carry. Okay. Uh, government ID, it could be your Aadhaar card or any other uh, card. It should have the same name as you're putting over here. Okay. In case, in no case, variation in spelling, first name or surname will be allowed to appear. So no, uh, variation should be there in your spelling. Okay. Over here in the application form and the government ID. So candidate first name, you can enter your details. Okay. Uh, I'm just entering a few of my details. Fine. So I'm using a random name. Fine. This is your first name. Okay. So put your first name, middle name. If you don't have any, let it, um, I mean, you can leave that particular field. Okay. It's not mandatory star marked fields are mandatory. Okay. So suppose, uh, I put my name like this 
then enter your name strictly as per your certificate mark sheet of matriculation 10th ssc without any salutation do not put mr mrs okay simple simply your names okay first name last name fine uh after this you have your date of birth okay so <clears throat> you can simply click on this and choose a particular year say you are choosing uh july 2007 okay i mean say this is my date of birth this should again be according to your 10th certificate select your gender okay uh age as on 1 august 2026 okay so after i have put my age over here it is telling me that i am these many years these many months these many days old okay so you must be knowing that students who are born before 1 august 2006 they are not eligible for this okay only students who are born on or after 1 august 2006 are eligible okay then email id so just put down your email id then confirm your email id put the same email id again do not copy paste over here so that even if you enter something wrongly you get you you uh, catch it right here okay so type the same email id over here then your mobile number working mobile number on which you receive otps etc okay or messages confirm mobile number then whatsapp number this is optional okay you can put it otherwise you will be getting updates on whatsapp as well you can put it okay and emergency contact mobile number you can put your parents mobile number okay so once you entered all these details how did you hear about this program you can select any of these okay does not matter say newspaper okay i would like to be informed of the program admission process via sms and email obviously select yes over here okay so that you keep getting sms emails continuously and you have to click on i agree okay and finally before clicking on generate otp go through all your details once again there should be no spelling mistake no mistake in date of birth no mistake in email entered no mistake in mobile number and finally click on generate otp okay so you have to enter the captcha shown if you are not able to read this captcha you can refresh it for another captcha okay so you have entered this click on submit kindly use otp received on your mobile number or email address so they will be sending an otp right away okay you have to enter that otp over here so i have received my otp and validate okay if you have not received an otp click on resend otp okay sometimes it happens that uh, messages are not properly received okay due to network issues so click on validate otp once you receive it and my otp has been validated okay so now once it is validated you enter the captcha shown below okay and re verify so it is showing me that my first name entered is this yes last name correct date of birth gender email mobile number and all of this okay click on submit the information once submitted cannot be modified click on okay if you have verified the information to be correct and to submit else click cancel to review again and then to submit okay click on okay if everything is correct and you can save your password as well okay the registration number that i have been given is this and i have to note it for future reference and the same will be sent to your mobile number as well and your email as well okay so close it note it down and uh, make sure you note it down in a piece of paper as well and save it sometimes we tend to lose messages and everything okay so do that fine once you've done this much this is my detail okay click on go to application after this so once i'm here my application number is being shown my name last name is being shown date of birth is shown everything is shown over here right you can put an alternate number okay now after this uh father's name okay then your mother's name fine nationality category okay whatever your category is make sure you only choose a category particular category when you have it certificate general students you are students on reserve do not need any category certificate other will need to show a certificate okay valid certificate updated one so suppose my category is general i'll be choosing general and are you a person with disability so this is for pwd candidates okay uh 
If you belong to this category, choose yes. Otherwise, click on no. Fine. Confirm your details once more. Okay. And click on save and next. So my data has been saved successfully. Now it is asking me for my address. Okay. So, and is your permanent address same as current address? So this is current address. Okay. And this is permanent address. This uh, is something that you have to put according to maybe your government ID. Okay. But current can be anything. Okay. Wherever you are located right now. Fine. Put your permanent address. So if your permanent address is same as current address, you can choose yes and it will be copied okay below. Otherwise, you can put a different address over here for permanent address, maybe as mentioned on your government ID. Fine. I hope it is clear. Then click on save and next. And it is asking me about my 10th grade educational information. Okay. So name of the board, you can write down the full name. Okay. Okay. CBSC or IB or whatever. Then institute name. So it is asking board or institute name. Okay. Here also you can put uh, maybe your board name only. Okay. You can either put your school name as well. Understood. Then marks percentage of marks obtained in mathematics. Suppose I enter 50. Okay. Percentage of marks obtained in mathematics in 10th board is less than 60. So you are not eligible to fill this form. So now it's clear that they are asking for 60%, at least 60% in 10th in mathematics. Okay. So suppose I put 89 okay month and year of completion this you can choose you can you can only choose between 2023 and 2024 okay so say it's 2023 or 24 for you so i've chosen it okay and say july because somewhere around june july your result is out okay maybe you can choose may may or april whenever your result was out okay and then overall cgpa obtained percentage obtained if you got CGPA, you write down CGPA. Otherwise, you can write down percentage as well. Okay. So, suppose I got this much. Okay. So, I've put down my percentage after converting CGPA to percentage. Okay. If your board CBSC gives you CGPA, then board has some rules to convert CGPA to boards. Okay. Follow the rules of your board and convert your CGPA to correct percentage. Then put it. Otherwise, you can simply put CGPA as well. Okay. And did you study mathematics as a subject in class 11 and 12? If I select no, what is it saying? You're not eligible for this program. So having maths in 11, 12, both is necessary for this program. Okay. So I'll have to take yes. Otherwise I'm not eligible for this program. Okay. Name of the board in 11th. So again, say you can put down the board name, month and year of completion. So again, one year after my 10th. Okay. So somewhere around maybe april okay for month you completed whichever year you completed 11th and say overall percentage okay it is asking percentage of marks obtained in mathematics okay suppose i put 45 here okay does it give any pop-up yes it is asking me to uh, put my 11th board marks in mathematics more than 60 or 60 okay so it should not be less than 60 Again, so 11th also it is necessary to have 60 or more. Okay. So suppose I put 82 here and say my overall percentage was also say 82. Okay. So it's very clear now 10th, 11th, 12th, all three years, they're asking you to educational information for 12th grade. Okay. So say again, my board was this, my board was this, then month and year of completion. Let us see if they're asking us to put 2026. If they're asking us to put 2026, obviously all the students who are studying in 12th currently, they'll be passing in 2026 and they'll be completing most probably by May. Your result is out, right? April, May. So you can maybe put May, okay? Or April, it works, okay? Uh, after that, your percentage of marks. Now, 12th, if you have not passed, okay? These two are not mandatory fields. So you can leave them blank for now. Okay. And click on save and exit because see you're a class 12 student. If you have passed, you have the result of class 12. You can put it. Otherwise, if you have not passed class 12, you are in class 12th right now. You can leave both of these blank. Okay. And let's see if they have uh, told us to put anything else in case we don't have marks for 12th. So, okay. There's no guideline over here regarding this, isn't it? Let me click on save and next. So my data is saved successfully. Okay. Now they're asking me to choose my test city. So suppose I choose 
uh, Delhi NCR first. Okay. Then say I choose uh, this as my city, then this. Okay. So once this much is done, you have to pay an application fee of 3000. Okay. You have to click here for payment. Uh, you can either pay or you can click on save and next. Okay. Data has been saved successfully. Okay. Now it is asking me to upload the scanned copy of the recent passport size photo. You can put your photo here, then your scanned signature over here, then 10th mark sheet. Okay. Scanned copy. And there they have given you the maximum size. Okay. Minimum 50 KB for the uh, passport size photo max 200 kb only jpg and jpg formats make sure this is the size this is the format okay same for signature as well as well then here they have allowed you to put max 2 mb photos make sure your uh, uh, result uh, pdfs this is pdf format only okay your 10th grade mark sheet it should be clear 11th grade mark sheet clear 2 mb pdf it is allowed so make sure it's a clear picture okay 12th, it's not mandatory, not start mark. So you can leave it if you are a 12th current, uh, currently studying in 12th student. Okay. Enter the UTR number. So this is uh, probably the transaction ID that you get for the uh, payment that we missed on the previous page. Okay. So then you have to enter the bank and branch name. So enter SBI, HDFC, whatever bank you used and your branch name, the account your account must be registered on some branch, right? Write the branch name, okay? Date of payment, if you're paying today, today only, and upload your application fee payment receipt. So whatever receipt you get after you pay over there, you have to upload it over here, okay? And then you have to click on declare that these part, uh, particulars in the application are true, and I have not uh, suppressed any material fact, okay? Any misinterpretation or omission of information will be grounds for withdrawal or dismissal, okay? Then you can put this captcha and click on your final application. Okay. I hope this is clear. Hope you can do this much and uh, make sure if you're not, uh, uh, not clear about a particular field, then you should, you can skip, uh, you know, filling this form for a few days you know, when you gather all the correct information, then only you go ahead. Okay. We have good number of days to fill the form. Okay. Just in case you need a particular course for this exam, then you can come to icona.in slash IPMAT and, uh, we have a course with I am Bangalore uh, entrance test and looking for mocks, interview preparation, live classes, doubt resolution, and want to complete your syllabus well within time. Then we have launched a full fledged course. There's a discount available on this at the moment. Okay. And it has live classes, weekly three live classes. And apart from this, uh, we want you also to drive the syllabus at your own pace because not many days are left. So to complete the syllabus at a faster pace, we are also giving you a pre-recorded course, which covers the entire syllabus of this exam, where you have pre-recorded lectures of quantitative aptitude covering everything. Okay. Complete algebra, complete arithmetic, complete number system, complete geometry, trigonometry, then data interpretation, logical reasoning, and verbal ability. Each class is of somewhere around one to 1.5 hours. Maybe you can finish verbal and logical reasoning at a faster pace. But you should spend good time in quantity aptitude because in data interpretation as well, okay, they have clearly mentioned they are going to ask quantity and DI in the same section, okay. So suppose you want to do linear and quality equations or maybe say you want to do this, you have to click on the link and you will straight away be taken to the recording of that particular class. You can switch to full screen and then maybe you can go ahead in which all the concepts have been done from the very basics, okay. And once you complete all these lectures, you'll be well prepared for the entire data interpretation part. Okay. I hope this is clear. We also have a group on WhatsApp wherein students will be allowed to ask doubts 24 seven, whatever they are solving. And if they are confused at any point of time during preparation, they can always put a message in the group. We also have mentorship. Okay. Just in case you're confused while covering classes or syllabus, you can simply call us up and we'll be there to guide you. Okay. So you can take the course from this link, icona.in slash IPMAT. I'll put it in the description at the top. And you can go here, scroll down a bit. Once you come to this page, you'll be here. Click on IPMAT courses, scroll down a bit, and you'll be able to see the course over here. Okay. Or if you want to separately take the mocks, then you can take the mocks as well. It'll have 10 mocks in total. Fine. That's it. And uh, if you have any further doubts, feel free to comment. Thank you so much. Keep coming back to Iconda. Subscribe to the channel for fastest updates on IPM and BPM.